Hi, Ogmo Vale. It's Owen from the church on the high street, standing in front of our children's pictures and images and icons of Jesus and his church. And today's video is an invitation for you to bring your children along to join in showing the valley how and why Jesus is special to humans like us. There is beauty in religion when religion is about Jesus Christ. There's awe and wonder and Jesus can transform our taste, our smells, our imaginations and fill us body, mind and soul with great things about the living God. Church is so much more than come, sit, listen and leave. Church is where we learn to live life to the full and that affects every aspect of our being. In fact, it should affect all of planet Earth. We love hearing stories from churches across the world about how Jesus is important to them and how they show him in their images and icons. I don't know if you've ever been on holiday, you've been to an Italian church, they always seem to draw Jesus like with Italian clothes, um, Italian hair. If you go to a church in France, he's probably got a French moustache. And we love it because it shows that Jesus is so special to that group of people. They really believe he cares for them and their culture. And when they picture him, he's essentially one of them. He came for them and he's part of their world and is transforming it. In the 8th century, the church in Nicaea decided it was a great thing to draw pictures of Jesus and paint pictures of Jesus. And that was in an age where they, the wider world was saying, you can't know anything about God, you can't know him. And the church was like, yes, we can. It's Jesus. Now let us display him to the world because he shows us who the living God is. And if you remember when Jesus was born, the Bible says he is the image, the icon of God the Father. And Jesus says, if you see me, you see God, my Father who sent me. I am the icon of the living God. I don't know if you've been to Turkey and Constantinople, but there, well, there's still a church there, but it's not a church anymore. It should be. They built Constantinople to reflect the city of heaven. And they had an emperor ruling from the heart of it, which was to reflect and be an image and an icon of the heavenly ruler and emperor, which is why there was so much splendor in those amazing icons in Constantinople. It's really interesting that you don't read about too many people having existential crises about identity back in those days. Do you know why? Because everywhere they turned was pointing to Jesus, body, mind, soul, Everything was pointing us up to him because he handles the big questions of identity and existentialism and who we are. So all images puffing up our imaginations about Jesus is a great thing. And we need this thing in Ogmore Vale because in Genesis, the book in the Bible, it says humans are images and icons of God. But we're really bad at showing that off. We're like a broken version of what we should be. Instead of reflecting the glory of God, we often fight, sin, and choose like things of death and decay, things that are bad for us. That's why we're thankful that Jesus is the icon of the Father, and we're thankful for any icons that points to that icon which leads us to the Father. I don't know if you've got a picture on your mantelpiece of someone that's been really important to you, and it fills your imagination of why they were important, do you? Well, art in Christianity does exactly that. It points us to why Jesus is so special to us. In Romans chapter 1, it says, It's very bad if we make images of God in the wrong way and make him some usable, abusable icon shaped like us. In Romans chapter 8, it says, No, no, we as icons and all icons should be like the Son of God. That's when images get good. And of course, Moses reminds us all about that with the second commandment. Second commandment's not saying never be artistic. It's saying don't make images of the wrong God. Don't make the wrong image. You might have read in Sunday school growing up in Exodus, Moses comes down the mountain 
and Aaron and God's people have made. And it says, an image of God's. And they say, these are your gods who led you out of Egypt. They even say at one point, no, no, it's in the honor of the angel of the Lord. But they don't mean it. There's only one God, not gods. And then they went off and practiced like really sinful stuff around this image they had made. That's the wrong type of image. I mean, it can't be against art and images altogether because there's tons of images of the living God in the whole Bible. Jesus says bread and wine are images of him. People even get rescued by looking at a snake, which is an image of Jesus. No, in church, we come to worship the living God and our art and our images and icons reflect him. Ogmore Vale, if you've got the wrong type of images, icons, artwork flooding your mind and imagination and life like an idol, it's going to be bad for you. If you find you're tired in body and mind and soul and all your energies are being spent on the wrong type of thing, we invite you to come to church where we lift our senses, our imaginations, our worship, our words, our thoughts to the real living God. Jesus Christ is the icon of his Father and that's good. Bring your children and families along this Sunday at half past ten.